Hello everyone, this is Serenis here, back with another awesome video for you guys today. And I'm pleased to announce guys that I have some Champion High Free For All Halo 5 action for you here today. I know that this is backed by popular demand, uh, so luckily I put a bit of uh, Free For All gameplay by. Um, and this is actually gameplay um, from quite a while ago now, this is going to be June season gameplay that you're going to watch today. But the reason I wanted to bring this out is because it was a champion matchup and uh, four of the players in this game other than myself, I wasn't a champion on this account. But um, this was my first account that I played Halo 5 Free For All on and uh, this was my first win against champion players. So it was my first experience of seeing what uh, champion Free For All was like. So this was actually the first uh, major win that I had. Um, also played Ripping Heads at this time and Turley as well. And when I came to beat Turley, that's where I really got into free for all. Like when I really, you know, beat someone as good as him, that really encouraged me to sort of get into um, Halo 5 free for all more. So these were some of the gameplays that really, um, you know, brought to life for me Halo 5 free for all and made me really want to become good in this playlist. So in this gameplay today, I'm up against uh, Call Me Heiser, uh, King X Hades, Tremor uh, XH or MH. I can't see there on the preview screen. Uh, Dr. BR Tryhard, all the gamer tags are typed properly in the description anyway. Um, but these guys were all champion free for all players that I've mentioned, and I will have the screenshot at the end for you as evidence. But they were all champion free for all players, so there was four champions in this game. I was playing on my um, recently acquired Onyx because I just, you know, played my 10 games to uh, get rated and was playing on a, a sort of low level uh, rating for Onyx, and I matched four champion players. And I think the other player that wasn't a champion I didn't mention was uh, either unrated or Onyx player. I can't really remember now, to be honest. Um, I think it's that third hand basher guy. So we're playing a bit of Tyrant Free For All. So you guys probably remember from my August season series when I played on my main um, how I discussed Tyrant Free For All. So most of the common spawns are across the map on both sides of the map. So most of the time it will have two players across from each other at snipe. Uh, two players facing off against each other in top mid or from either base and that means that there's someone to your left and right as well with these kind of spawns and then there's two people facing each other outside. Uh, so bear in mind guys, this is June season gameplay and my um, alternate accounts gameplay is in a Serenity 69 as I showed you in the beginning um, that you know it's me because I switched between my main and this account and uh, yeah, this was kind of my account to practice and get into free for all in the quiet because uh, when I initially started free for all, I, I knew that it would be a bit of an adjusting stage because it's a bit different to other playlists, and you know I kind of wanted to get prepared in it in my own time and uh, be a bit discreet about it, but not playing on my main, just playing on this alternate. So uh, that was the reasoning behind that, and that's a really nice triple kill there on all of the um, champion players actually. Um, call me Heiser, Tremor, and uh, Doctor Br Tryhard. So. That was a nice bit of play, and uh, like I said, guys, you know this gameplay followed by the one against uh, Turley ripping heads, and also um, I matched up against another champion free for all player, which I'll probably bring next time. Uh, that one's quite funny as well. Um, with just some of the gameplays that sort of kickstarted it for me, and um, I think June and July was quite a, a long season. I think it was actually a, a, a two-month season, so I kind of decided to, um, you know, actually. Uh, um, get to another alternate account that time um, because there was no point in me really going for a champion on my main in July because the season was two months long so um, I also played on an alternate account called Air Rhyme with loads of numbers after it um, and then that's when I you know when August uh, came that's when I played on Serenities and did the Champion High Free for All uh, series for my channel and that was the series that all of you guys watched um, and after that we had the we had a full um, season uh, series in which I didn't actually play free for all at all I took a break after August because I was a bit uh, pumped out and I played again on the winter on another alternate but that will be uh, for another time when I discuss all of that but to sum it up in short there's a lot of uh, content coming to my channel of uh, free for all I've played on these um, alternates when you know I've just played for fun and just played for playing sake so you know getting matches up against champion players is always a good thing um, so I'll start talking about the gameplay now um, I will commentate all of my champion um, free for all matches as well that I post because um, I really find it encouraging to um, still commentate to you guys all the things I've improved on now from my older gameplays like these. Um, so, you know, most of the gameplay you'll be seeing is from either the June or July season or the winter season, which I'll sort of do 
I'll get all the older ones out of the way first and then upload to the newer stuff that I've recently done. And you'll probably be able to see the difference in gameplay between uh, when I started Freefall in the very, very beginning, which is the gameplay you're watching now, and how I adapted towards the end against, you know, uh, players of, uh, you know, similar skill, if not better, um, towards the end. I, I, do, I do think that as, I, as time sort of went on with uh, Halo 5 Freefall for me, that I got m very much better and achieved. Um, you know, wins against players of a much better standard as well, so just to kind of throw that out there as well. So coming to this gameplay guys, I'm going to cut the gameplay now. Going against, uh, you know, four champion players is always a bit of an experience and, uh, you know, really good, um, you know, for me and a real good eager boost uh, to find out at the end of the game that I actually beat four champion players. Um, so, you know, ha what I have really liked about this time of free for all gameplay that I've seen thus far is that I've made brilliant use of um, keeping a hold of the scatter shot, which is something that I told all of you guys uh, on Tyrant Free for All um, back in my August season to really make sure that you were doing that. And uh, using this ramp area on Tyrant really nicely, um, as I said before, you know, holding that ramp area down will um, keep your life for longer because you've got a lot of, um, you know, radar sort of uh, diameter and, and radius, if you like, as well, being the, the uh, half of it. Um, you know, you've got a lot of coverage of your radar there from both of those and it's, uh, you know, you have quite a wide proximity of where, where you can use your scatter shot. And uh, definitely a good idea to position yourself there because players coming off spawn, uh, there will always eventually be someone coming off the spawn there. Um, players will never, you know, know you're there unless they've seen you on the death cam or something and it's just a real cheap way to get kills. So definitely positioning yourself well on a base side with a scatter shot is really key on the uh, Tyrant free for all, and it will get you a lot of kills as well. So I would definitely recommend um, doing that. And I think I did it really well. The style's gameplay, as you can see, there's a massive uh, kill differential between me and second place. So um, you know I must be doing something right if that's the case. But um, at this point here, really nice awareness to notice. Uh, BR try hard was weak, uh, trying to get away. And 4G um, can do it. So it's definitely, like I said before, guys. You know, with um, free for all gameplays, it's really important that. When you sort of push into an area in um, Champion Free For All that you um, go for the kill that you intended and you have to kind of know when to pull out because once you've made um, you know a lot of effort to get a particular kill um, you will make a lot of noise especially if you're using an assault rifle as well um, and you know obviously with that being said you're going to be a massive scene target for the players coming to that area of noise so you have to remember when you attack you have to get the kill quite you know clinically and quickly as well um, because more players after that will come and rush you when they hear the noise um, from their perspective so don't try and spend too long you know like uh, you know staying in one sort of area and firing a lot of shots because more than likely you won't get the kill that you're intending and then someone else will come and kill you so um, try and avoid noise and free for all creating too much of it and try and um, make use of listening to it as well. What I have noticed from the new free for all changes of the free for all that I've recently played on my uh, new alternate I will add I won't say a a name at this time, but um, what I have noticed from the free for all um, that I've played recently, and um, because I'm recording this in the winter season, um, is that they've placed um, some sort of uh, special weapons on the map now. Like for instance, with Rig, they have a um, <coughs> suppressor that's uh, featured in Warzone actually, um, which is like a second tier suppressor, and they also have a silenced um, SMG on Plaza, which I kind of like those additions to uh, free for all, but. Honestly, I think they could have probably not done that because I think the older settings are better. Just leave that sort of stuff for Warzone. Uh, but with that being said, you know, um, definitely having those new weapon attachments and new weapon um, placements on the maps definitely changes the, the, the gameplay slightly as well. And with the addition of uh, camo on Riptide as well, it's um, just a few things that you kind of have to be aware of. So I will kind of uh, make that clear to you when I upload all my gameplays how the map differs now. Um, so you know that you guys are still up to date with all of this stuff, so the gameplay is still applicable. Um, one thing I did notice about my time of playing free for this level in June, like this is, you know, this really was when I first started out, guys. So obviously, I, you know, in August and and beyond, I got much much better than than what you're seeing here. Um, I noticed I was really dependent on my assault rifle, and I, I still was when I played in August, and you know, sometimes even now I can be a bit dependent on it, but. There were many times in this gameplay where, you know, I could have probably gone for a pistol kill and I think in some cases it would have been more preferable. Um, and I think sometimes in this gameplay as well I've noticed that um, I got a bit lazy with the assault rifle and the beatdown finish. 
it's really important when you're going for a kill that, that like that for instance <laughs> um, when you're when you're going for a kill like that it's really important that you make the effort to finish off don't get lazy with it um, you know really kind of make sure that you finish the kill with the AR beat down because it's not guaranteed especially on you know certain server connections as well so you have to just be a bit careful of it um, you know definitely take care to finish off your kills like that as you can see I nearly fumbled again but after that I got a really nice pistol kill after getting the assault rifle kill on the first player and that's going to extend my lead I think at this point in the game, um, the reason that Heiser, I think it's Heiser that's uh, tied up for me right now, the reason that he caught up was because I was probably um, not putting myself in enough and when I did, you know, kind of trading kills. What you want to be careful of when you get down to like near 25 kills um, to finish the game, um, try to avoid like, you know, um, trading a lot because when you trade a lot you're kind of... Um, shutting yourself down to particular opportunities to get more kills um, and the, the thing with that is if you're trading a lot and um, you know not with the second place person because you don't really want to feed the second place person kills but if you're not taking the second place player out of the game um, that sort of buys them time for them to kill other players by you being put out so uh, just be careful of too much trading towards the end of the game because it can actually work in reverse um, you are increasing your lead by one each time but it can be a bit costly as well. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this first instalment of my new postings. Um, all of these postings will be when I was either practicing in the June and July season on uh, this account and Air Rhyme. And uh, the uh, new gameplay that you're going to see from the winter season is on a fresh alternate when I played now and again in uh, the winter season. So I'll see you next time, guys, on the next upload.